Perched high above a river in a hidden corner of the backcountry, there is a trail that never ceases to put a knot in my stomach. A place that challenges those with a fear of heights, and a place where any mistake could be catastrophic. In terms of whether it's worth the risk, that's for you to decide. As this trail winds its way deeper into the ravine, it features hairpin corners and elements of extreme exposure. Navigating this canyon takes precise throttle control and skilled balance. In other words, if you rush through it, you might be taking the shortcut to the river. In this video, as the mountains get colder and colder every day, I'll make my 2024 pilgrimage to this region, and hopefully make my way over the cliffs one more time. What's going on you guys welcome to the channel on today's video we are riding one of my favorite places in the whole state but it also happens to be one that really makes me nervous so this isn't my first time riding this trail and uh, I've made some videos here before but every single time I come here it just is so nerve-wracking to ride because most of this trail is suspended up on like a hundred foot cliff um, but it's like one of the coolest areas, amazing views, just like a really cool spot. Though one really, really important thing to point out is this is a multi-use trail. And I've actually met the property owner that owns land at the very end of this trail. And there's a lot of complaints with interactions between motorcycle traffic like me and horses because the property owner, he uses horses and mules to get back to that ranch. And so I really do my best every time I'm out here to be understanding that there could be cross traffic. Uh, and to those of you that also ride this trail, um, please be aware of that. Like right now I'm looking at the trail and I can see horseshoe prints. So I'm not going to go super fast today. I'm going to try and enjoy myself, enjoy the views and have a good time with the good weather we still have left. And uh, hopefully have no head-ons with a horse. So yeah, not a trail to go very fast on, but definitely a trail to just kind of, you know, stay in control of yourself and your bike and just take your time and enjoy the views. And try not to have an anxiety attack too, because you are gonna be up on a massive cliff as you guys will see when I round that corner. Yeah, right about here is where it starts to get a little bit interesting. As you guys can see, it's uh, no joke. There is a real serious cliff on the right side of me right now. But the goal for today, throttle control, clutch control, keep the bike on two wheels, and we'll be all right. Though half the battle for me is also keeping myself calm because I get super anxious when I'm up on you know, this high of a cliff. I think my biggest worry is that, because my instinct is to hug the rock wall next to me. And so one of my biggest worries is that I'll get too close to it and then hit my handlebar or my foot peg or something like that. And then that impact might send my front wheel in a direction that I don't really want it to go. It's also a bit dusty out. Aside from these cliffs, one of the other things that makes me nervous is uh, all the blind corners. So you know how I was mentioning that there is uh, equestrian traffic. I can't hear them coming. You know, they can hear me coming, but, uh, and I, I'm quoting the information that I got from the homesteader uh, that I met who owns the property back here. You know, horses, they, they can hear me coming, but I look like an alien to them. 
you know, they don't know what I am. And so they get scared and it spooks them. And that could be a huge problem. So what I've learned is, or at least I was told, if I ever run across any horses, I need to just stop, turn the bike off, take my helmet off and start talking to the horse and let them know that like I'm a person, you know, I'm not some crazy alien or something. One of the other things that I've noticed as I've ridden this trail for a while is that the dirt's kind of interesting. It's like hard pack, but at the same time, you'll hit these points where it feels like there is like an inch of sand on top of the hard pack. And I'm sure that's, you know, something that changes based on the season and how much moisture's in the dirt and all that. But it does make some of these sections tricky when it feels like you're kicking up a little bit of sand and you're trying not to, you know, lose traction. So far so good, haven't seen any horses yet. Honestly, you're probably going to hear me mention it at least a dozen times on this ride. Horses scare me more than, or I should say horses don't scare me, but the idea of having a head on with a horse scares me so much more than, you know, I can hear a motorcycle coming and I know to like, you know, be prepared, they're coming around a corner. Um, yeah, you guys are gonna hear me mention that a lot. But so far, so good. Haven't seen any yet. Just seeing some, you know, hoof tracks in the dirt and that's it. Yeah, these blind corners make me nervous. Oh, we're already at one of the cliff spots. All right, let's go do it. So there's a few spots on this trail that I feel are more sketchy than others, and this is one of those spots. Yeah, this is one of the few spots that I'm usually duck walking the bike, and it's for kind of a silly reason, but, well, I guess it's not silly when you're on a cliff, but. I'm always so nervous that I, when I make these right hand turns, I'm always scared that, you know, see how my rear wheel gets a little bit closer to the edge? I'm always nervous that that's just gonna slip right into that crack. And then at that point, I'm just going like ass end down into the river, which doesn't really seem ideal. <laughs> so this is one of the spots where I'm a bit of a pansy and I, I gotta duck walk the bike. Plus, I don't want to go fast because this is another one of those blind corner spots. Yeah, I think this part's even worse than the last corner. in my mirror there she goes sweet all right I feel better now that we're past that I had a thought occur to me just now um, I was meaning to mention this earlier in the ride uh, but I remember the last time that I published a video of riding through this canyon and I had so many people in the comment section tell me that I was riding on a hiking trail. And so before I forget to mention this, I have a quick picture that I'll show you guys uh, of the trailhead that shows that it's a, a multi-use trail. So I just wanted to make sure I threw that in there in case somebody wants to tell me that I'm on a hiking trail again, because I'm not. Well, I suppose you could hike here, but it is multi-use. Oh, this is gonna be fun. 
rocks. There we go. Those rocks that have a little bit of sand on them, oh, they're so sketchy. So, so sketchy. Like this, you see this one I just went up and over just now? Sometimes there can be just a little bit of sand on those. And then the rear tire spins a bit when you go over them. Yeah, this is another spot that sketches me out. There we go. Oh, it's shaping up to be such a pretty day. It was so cold this morning when I was riding over here, which it's like a 40 minute ride just to get to this trailhead. And that's if I'm on a motorcycle, so I'm already going faster than if I were driving. Um, and oh man, it was freezing this morning. And so I'm pretty stoked to see the sun coming out. That's nice. Up here in the mountains, we should get our first bit of snowfall within less than a week, actually, I think. Though it'll probably be, you know, just a light dusting that will coat the tops of the trees and the mountaintops and things like that, but probably won't stick in the lower areas, which means I still have a little bit more time to ride. Okay, that is something I got to be careful about. That is fresh horse manure. All right, we're gonna be really slow from here on out. Cause that is fresh manure. Though I guess I feel a little bit better because it looks like the horse tracks are coming towards me. You know how like uh, horse hooves, they have the U-shaped um, horseshoe, that's what they're called. They have the U-shaped horseshoe and it looks like the U is facing me. So that makes me think that they've already, you know, gone through this trail and out the other side. But just in case, I don't want to spook any that could be out here. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to mention it like 12 times. I do not want to spook horses. That's like a nightmare scenario for me.
All right, now we're kind of on a part that's a little bit more mellow. I think the sketchiest parts of this trail are by far the start and the end. Everything else in the middle is not too bad. It's kind of like how it is right now where there's, you know, like it's still pretty tight, but I don't necessarily feel like, you know, like if I made a mistake, I would be somewhat okay. You know, like it's not a direct drop off on the right side of me. So this is kind of like the spot where I feel like I get to kind of relax a little bit. starting to get back a little bit closer to that cliff edge now not too bad though oh yeah we're making quick work of this trail I think we're coming up on uh, one of the next big cliff sections and I think it's probably the last big big cliff until um, until we pretty much arrive at the end of the trail and then we have to turn around and, you know, do, do it all over again on the way back. But, yeah, I think, arguably, this might be the tallest of all the cliffs. But I think it feels a little bit easier because you're tucked back in the trees a little bit more. But I'll stop for a second and I'll show you guys what I mean. I mean for starters you guys can kind of see that shelf right there like that's got to be a hundred foot drop at least let's keep going a little further yeah see we're kind of tucked just a little bit into the trees but we are way way up here yeah <laughs> look at that wonder if I could throw a rock wonder if I can make this all the way down <laughs> that was at least two and a half seconds before I heard it make a sound yeah we're up there Yeah, you can see it even better here. Holy cow. Yeah, that's a drop. <laughs> I'm gonna get away from there. Still no horses. I'm really excited about that. I'd be really, really happy if I got this trail all to myself for the day.
cool to see the springs are still flowing. It'd be nice if I ran out of water. I have a good spring to use. Nice stall. Yeah, I think uh, one thing that I've learned about late season riding is water is like a real dilemma. You know, I've ran out of water quite a few times now out on a trail. And, um, you know, ever since I've been carrying my water filter with me, that's made a huge difference. And, you know, my confidence to uh, be able to source water at different places. But, yeah, the later it gets in the season, the harder and harder it gets to find uh, springs. Though I guess the one nice thing is if you get to ride by a river like I am now, are you ever really gonna run out of water? Probably not. Yeah, another thing that I started carrying recently though is um, like a backup bottle of Pedialyte or any kind of electrolyte drink for that matter. Just like keep a bottle in your pack or on a pack on your bike or something and then forget you have it. And then if you run completely out of drinking water, boom there's your backup supply and they have sugars and stuff in them too so if you're running out of energy it'll give you like a quick jolt Oh yeah, look at that. These springs are really flowing. It is awesome to see.
love how by the time I get close to the end of this trail, I kind of get into that flow state where suddenly the trail just becomes really, really flowy and I'm not, you know, as worried about <laughs> going over the side. It's kind of where I'm at right now. It's fun. And I'm not seeing any kind of people or horses, so I feel like I can actually go at a good pace. Though this is a bit of a blind corner. We're good. Whoa, I just threw it in first gear, and the compression slowed me down real, real quick. I thought I was in like second though, so it kind of caught me off guard. It's kind of where you live on this trail though, like between first and, I mean, you maybe might get into third gear, but first and second, spent a lot of time in first and second. Hey, another spring. I gotta imagine, I think we're like eh, probably less than half a mile away from the end. Which I'm pretty pumped about because I got a sandwich calling my name. Yeah, <laughs> made it to the end of the trail yet again. Oh, that's such a cool ride. So if you guys haven't figured it out, this is the property line to where uh, that rancher, he owns that property back there. So this is where you got to turn around. But um, yeah, such a cool ride. Not really an ideal turnaround spot, but like you can't beat that. So <laughs> I don't care at all. This is awesome. Ah, <sighs> good ride.
All right, guys, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, do me a favor and hit the like button down below. And if you guys like this kind of content, definitely subscribe for more videos coming out in the future. And as always, hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Adios, guys. Bye.